Hey guys, what's up? It's Derek. I'm doing a quick video here on what I'm taking to go to this place. I'm leaving in a couple days and it's August. What is today? August 26th. I'm leaving in a couple days solo to go hike the length of Isle Royal National Park, Lake Superior, the Great Lakes State of Michigan. And here's what I'm going to bring. Number one, we're going to do um, a couple of videos. This is going to be my clothing video. Kind of cloudy. We're in here on my bed. I have everything laid out, so the lighting's not awesome, but it is what it is. So I'm going for what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, five days basically, four and a half ish. Going solo. It's the end of August, early September. Hopefully it's not going to be too cold. Um, hopefully it's not going to be too rainy because I'm trying to not prepare for either of those too much. But here we go, starting at the top. I'm trying to go ultra light because I'm going solo. Number one. <clears throat> During the day, what I'm going to be wearing is every single day, I'm bringing only one pair of pants. This is a pair of North Face convertible, um, you know, outdoor pants, so they zip off. These ones are awesome. They have zippers at the bottom so you can, you know, put them on and take them off with shoes on. North Face was actually smart about this, too, when they did the, the um, zippers. For the legs they put a label on the actual bottom part so you know it's the right leg or the left leg I have a pair of Patagonia pants that they didn't do that you have to figure out what what leg is what anyway so those are you know lightweight dry super bomb proof that's gonna be my everyday wear next it's kind of out of order of what's going on but it's how it's laid out in my bed um, well next let's go to this shirts I'm bringing two short sleeve shirts. Yeah, check out my Chaco tan. Haters can be jealous about that. I'm bringing two short sleeve shirts. This is like a Patagonia Capoline One super lightweight t-shirt. That's what I'm gonna wear probably most days. I'm gonna alternate between that one and a different one. Second t-shirt, this is kind of a busted. It's a um, uh, mountain equipment. Or is it REI or MEI? I think it's an MEI. I don't know, you can barely tell the thing is so worn out. It's a t-shirt, it's all synthetic, super lightweight, um, and I'll alternate between those two, and I'll wash one one day and you know wear the next one the next day. Uh, shirt, next shirt. Long sleeve, Patagonia, Capoline 1, super thin, super lightweight, obviously synthetic too, but if it's just a little bit cold where I want something on my sleeves, or on my arms, if I want sleeves on my arms, I'll wear that. So, one long sleeve, two short sleeves. That'll be during the day. What's gonna be on my britches? I'm gonna have, I'm only bringing two pairs of underwear. These are Adidas Tech Fit boxer briefs. They're obviously synthetic and um, I'll wear one for a day and then take it off and wash it and hang it up and wear the one, next one the next day. Only bringing two pairs of underwear because you know whatever it's all you need. Uh, footwear. I'm only bringing two pairs of socks. These are some North Face something wool polyester blend hiking socks. They're super thick. Um, and they're gonna be too hot and this is like a pair of uh, what are these Bridgedales or something they're a synthetic blend you know half synthetic half wool they're gonna be too thick and too hot but I'll get to the reason why in a minute next for warmth at night it's gonna get maybe a little bit chilly up there at nights because I'm bringing a 45 degree bag it's more like a 50 degree bag but, um, you know, it's not going to get super cold, but at night it's nice to put on different clothes. And if I get a little bit chilly, I'm bringing these. This is a pair of uh, old, they still work fine, they're just getting a little old. Capoline Patagonia Cap 1 base layer. 
obviously all synthetic capillane that's a pair of bottoms and a crew neck top is under there so I have a long and uh, long top long bottom to sleep in rain gear I looked at the forecast it's definitely gonna rain one day and have a big blowout thunderstorm and hopefully I'm not up on the Greenstone Ridge that day but if I am so be it so I'm not bringing full-on big rain gear these things are synthetic and will dry and I have other stuff that I can put on when, once I get to camp um, but I am bringing a lightweight <clears throat> rain jacket this is a outdoor research helium 2 hooded jacket it's Pertex so it's like their version of Gore-Tex it's ultra lightweight it packs into its own pocket the thing weighs like two ounces it's awesome and um, yeah I'm gonna bring that for sure extra warmth at night just in case I actually do get cold I'm bringing a Patagonia Nano Puff hoodie zip up full zip Patagonia Nano Puff hoodie and so God forbid it's actually cold I can wear long underwear base layer and put that Nano Puff on there's no way I'm gonna be cold in a 50 degree sleeping bag this time of year I say that now we'll see what's up <laughs> next we're going uh, footwear <clears throat> primary footwear gonna be these the name on these are ridiculous there's some Patagonia Gore-Tex hiking shoes with this super dope camo on them uh, here's the name the Patagonia XA Pro 2 3D no they're the XA 3D Pro Ultra 2 GTXs, meaning they're Gore-Tex. What's that mean? I don't know. It's a lot of letters. But what it really means is they're super lightweight. They're Gore-Tex. They've got the BOA, or, you know, Solomon's version of the BOA lace-up system. I got them out of Meyer's bag because they got dirty. Got some good traction on them. But these things are relatively new, so they're not totally broken in. Hence the thick socks so I don't get any blisters, hopefully. I will get blisters because it's inevitable, but whatevs. And camp chillin', pair of Chaco, you know, whatever. Chaco guide flip-flops, those things are awesome once you get to camp. What else is gonna be on me? This is not all my gear, it's just my clothing, kinda what's on my person. I have a Tech 4.0 Trail Leader watch. Um, in all black with the reverse display white on black this thing is a watch chronometer stopwatch timer alarm all that good stuff but it's also got a barometer on it it's got an altimeter on it it's got a digital compass on it it's got a pedometer on it so you can set it so it syncs with how your arm is swinging to give you mileage so that's pretty cool um, that thing's awesome it worked great when I was at Pictured Rocks. Uh, was that last year or the year before? I don't remember, but it worked awesome. It was like for mileage, you'd look on the map and go, oh, this is 10 miles, and you'd track it on the watch, and you type in, you know, the length of your gait, and it was like pretty damn accurate. So bringing that again for sure. Oh, it's got a thermometer on it too. Yeah. Altimeter, barometer, compass, thermometer, and pedometer that's awesome um pair of sunglasses of course you got to have those i'll have a hard case for them but these are some smith outliers you know polarized of course i'm bringing a standard issue <clears throat> bandana cotton bandana to help like pre-filter my water and just wipe my face and whatnot i'm bringing a msr uh, microfiber towel this is like the personal pack towel is what they call it you know for cleaning any dishes or just wiping yourself off helping you bathe whatnot that thing's invaluable a buff always got to have a buff um, cool max smith optics branded buff in rasta and my daughter picked out she said i do like the rasta color daddy so i went with the rasta this thing's awesome it's been with me everywhere you know you can wear these like 10 different ways Mainly I roll the headband or like the bandana type of style. I am bringing a hat. This is a 
Thinsulate, just kind of a cheap, it actually works awesome. It, I got it at Meyer. it was super cheap, like a hunting, some kind of camo, 40 gram Thinsulate. So it'll dry and work even if it's wet. And if I'm really cold, I throw the hat on and the hood on, on the Nano Puff, and I should be toasty warm. Lastly, I'm bringing a, this is a old Marmot thing, is just beat down, but baseball cap, it's all synthetic, quick dry. Should be all I need, I would hope and think. We'll see, that's not a ton of stuff, but I'm only going for like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and it's only a half day on one of those days, so it's, you know, four and a half days, and I'm going, trying to go ultralight, and that is it. I'm going to come back and do a video, hopefully pretty quick here, on my other gear, like hard goods, backpack, sleeping bag, you know, cook system, sleep system, that kind of stuff, but for now, this is just the clothing. I appreciate you watching. And it's going to be awesome. Should be a good trip. You know you're jealous about it because I'll be that guy. Except there won't be another guy behind me. And my bag won't be that big. And it won't be from like 1975. Holler to Kim Goble for getting me this book. Thanks guys. Bye.